Hey, this is Adam with Tech.iv Club. I want to talk about an extremely exciting feature with Vegas Pro 365. This is the ability to turn voice into the text, usable titles, and closed captioning. First off, we need some audio. I'm just going to hit Control Q, and boom. Now we've got an audio track, and I'm going to hit the hamburger menu and hit Arm for Recording, which is right at the top. And then it's going to pick a place to put these recordings. I'm just going to let it go into my documents right now. I don't have my uh, mic volume and everything optimized for recording in Vegas. Uh, but for this particular video, but uh, if you'll forgive a little bit of background noise, we uh, will get started. So first off, let's try a test. Like, hey, I'm just wondering if this even works. I'm going to start naming off items in my kitchen refrigerator kitchen knives sometimes I get hungry and I want to eat a snack all right so now we've got this audio even worse I'm gonna start naming off items in my kitchen refrigerator so it's not perfect audio it's not studio audio it's clear you can hear it but there's background noise it's not necessarily cued so you don't have to come in with the most and crazy audio ever. So we're going to go to tools and we're going to go to speech to text. And uh, right now this is in beta, uh, but hopefully shortly this will be for everybody. Speech to text and once I turn it on I'll get this tool. Whatever audio track I have highlighted on uh, whatever clip I have highlighted is what it's going to select. So uh, if I select this right here like if it's off, it'll say no audio selected. So you select the audio, then it'll say analyze. And it'll auto detect your language. We'll talk more about that in a second. So here it is. It says, hey, I'm just wondering if this even works. I'm going to start naming off items in my kitchen. Refrigerator, kitchen knives. Sometimes I get hungry and I want to eat a snack. It has it all. It has it in sentences. It's pretty impressive. Uh, so you can change the length of characters. That's just by moving the slider right here. Uh, and then you can also pick whether or not you have two lines on a title or one line on a title. Right now we're going to go single. Uh, and there's all sorts of different titles you can use. You can use the fancy titles. You can use your own custom titles uh, that you make. Uh, right now I'm just going to use subtitles because it's going to be the cleanest way to show this because uh, you'll have to do kind of some prep work to get a title that does what you want it to do. But with subtitles, that's the kind of title that will be easy to see exactly the power of this. We're going to hit Generate. And that's going to create a bunch of titles. And it's going to create them at the right times in the video, uh, depending on how long the text is, is going to be on the screen. Hey, I'm just wondering if this even works. I'm going to start naming off items in my kitchen. Refrigerator. Kitchen knives. Sometimes I get hungry and I want to eat a snack. Here we go. See it? There we go. Now I have text. Now it, I can do whatever I want with this. It can be fancy text, flavor text. Uh, um, you know, this can have presets about. Uh, this is not a video about audio titles, but you can preset anything you want. So <laughs> we can. There will definitely be more tutorials about that in the future. Um, let's talk about different languages. Does it understand different languages? Yes, it understands a ton of different languages. Like a, like a crazy amount. Um, let's try to check the auto detect on Spanish because I want to point something out. Me gusta queso. I had Spanish in high school, so you're not going to get much more out of me from that. Speech to text. And we're going to have this hot. And we're going to analyze. And it figured it out. Now, uh, before, I have had it said uh, Magusta Queso, and I spelled it with a C, because uh, it thought I it didn't know I was speaking English, or maybe it thought I was speaking another language that's similar. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about other languages. But uh, you can always make sure it exactly tries to translate it in the language you want. Turning it to Spanish, when it gave me, when I spelled Queso with a C earlier, I turned it to Spanish, and it fixed it. So, there you go. And let's go ahead and generate those titles. Me gusta queso. There we go. Uh, what if you just delete it? Then look at this. You can make it say everything as one word. Me gusta queso. All right. So finally, we're going to test the power of this. So I'm going to 
little tutorial I did recently about faking diegetic sound. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. Uh, and then here we got audio. We got all sorts of dialogue going on and stuff. So you notice it didn't do anything for the music. And so here it says Adam and Attic David Club. Now, Tech Dive AV Club is something I'd have to come back and edit, but all of these are editable. So all I'd have to do is find some of the odd phrases and re edit them. But this is actually pretty good. Um, like, this is pretty much exactly what I said. Like, I'm not seeing anything here that looks wrong. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. Now, that's not going to undo everything we did, but I don't need to do the entire thing to show you what's going on here. Uh, we could just have kept that going. So, so far, this is what we got. We've got like just several minutes of text site, uh, of subtitles already typed out for us and everything, with me just doing nothing but staring at the screen, oogling. You can change to max character length again. Uh, I'm going to, for the sake of argument, pull it tiny again, just to, just to be annoying to the software, make it do as much work as possible. So uh, then I'm going to export this and I'm just going to let it go to my documents and then just call this uh, tutorial so I'll know which one it is. Save. And then um, that is your closed captioning. So your closed captioning is now something you can import into Vegas. It's just already just done. So we'll talk about that in just a second. So first off we're going to generate the titles and the closed captioning will also follow this uh, character length too. So you'll notice if it does this all you have to do is control shift Q uh, down here control shift Q make another track you can kind of put these on swap the tracks whatever you need to do so that's not a big deal. So. Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 19, and we're going to take a look at diegetic sound. So what diegetic sound is, is it's when you're trying to make something sound like it comes from the world you're presenting, typically a world of fiction, but you're trying to make the sound feel like it was actually like recorded on site. Uh, like, man, that's just like laser on, perfect, like done. Okay, so let's uh, let's do the final step. So now, let's say I needed closed captioning, and I would be like, oh, I have to do all that work again. No, you don't. You just go to File, and then Export. Now, to be your closed caption is going to be where it was on the timeline here. So if you, so this is further down the timeline. So this is this would be one of the last steps you do. But you go to Import, and then you go to Closed Captioning, and then it saves as an SRT. And then, uh, so we needed to go to SRT to, for the files reviewing to see it. Then we're going to select tutorial. We're going to hit open, and then look at that. That's what good closed captioning looks like. But this this is be a little tighter than you'd normally do it. I, but this is just to make the point how fast this is. I didn't have to sit here and go create closed captioning point, create closed captioning point, and type it all in. You can see all the words right here are up here with closed captioning points. This is exportable. Uh, this is this is uh, can be included in different types of renders. There you go. We're done. That's it. We're in Vegas Pro 19, and we're going to take a look at diegetic sound. So what diegetic sound is is it's when you super exciting. So now we've got voice to text and text to voice and so much stuff. So I'm about to have some some fun because there's some I think there's a lot of implications uh, of, of cool things you can do with this that we've barely tapped into yet so thanks for watching like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one I will see you next time